Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another video. Epic Games just released the free content for the month of March. I have it all downloaded here, and we're about to go ahead and check this out, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so first up we have the hack and slash VFX. All the VFX here in level, I'll just start over from the left side. Uh, so we have the spinning effect here, three of them. And over here we have kind of a more digital effect pixelated next one we have a green spinning effect an explosion our next one we have a blue electrical effect so like lightning dashing whatever then we have a spinning purple effect with a explosion right there some fire effects same thing and the red puff of gas more of a yellow star or spinning effect, I don't know, then a bluish teal puff of gas or whatever. Then we have sort of this claw effect where it's scratching. And this last one right here, which is just the ground. Okay, so all of these effects here are included in the pack, and we'll go ahead and move on to the next pack. Next up is this medieval castle. So first up we have the demo scene. So you see here, I can hit play. And it looks like everything is pretty much to scale. I can run inside this building, yep. So it's a pretty decent sized castle here. You can see there's, off the bat, there's a lot of trees, but uh, the ones in the back, and pretty much the ones up close are billboards, essentially. But when you get up closer, looks like a pretty nicely detailed. Okay, the castle. First, we start out over here, uh, moat and bridge. And we have this little airlock, the doors. Okay, it's all modular, so when I click on it, you can see all the little modular bits and pieces. And the nice thing about this is it has all of the interiors as well. So you can see you can go up and through here. You can also go in through all the spires. They have the staircases. Maybe this one doesn't go all the way down, but goes all the way up here. So this is what the top look like. It also has these little side buildings as well that you can enter in. They have these little um, indents in the wall where you know the archers would shoot out. So that's a really nice detail. You also got these little towers on the inside. These wooden stairs to get up. And wooden ladders to get up and down. Okay, moving up, we have that building that I was just in. Then we have, I guess, the keep. You can see the staircase on here. Looks really nice. And up here we have the staircase leading up to the main area of the keep so in here I guess is supposed to be the hall or whatever a little basement you can go up the stairs lots of room to put all sorts of different actors in here a little balcony you can get out to the very top And uh, yeah, that's that area. Um, in here you can see there's a nice wooden boardwalk going all the way around the perimeter. And I can zoom out and give you a better look of the overall map. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the overview. This just has all the modular pieces in here. So over here we have all the wooden pieces little slope doorways and we have all the wooden planks the fence sides the stone staircase that we saw as well as the circles for the top of the towers little gate there and then we have all of the stone pieces that uh, were used in the castle really nice 
that they're all modular and it would be really cool to set a lot of these things up with uh, destructible as destructible meshes and just uh, I don't know launch a catapult or something at the wall and smash it or something yeah so you got all the different uh, modular pieces of the castle as well as the roofs and all that stuff and we got the tree and a couple of different grass okay and then we have the big wall pieces looks like these are just solid one piece and yeah that's pretty much all of that uh, there's another map here overview static light it's just the same map with the uh, static light so moving on we have the office scene oh this is a little small map here not really much to it desk with some chairs a monitor keyboard and mouse notebook there laptop really nice detailed laptop monitor and keyboard Okay, and then over here we have a little shelf, some books, all sorts of things, some plants, a little large format printer there, printing out a blueprint. Really simple map, and there's not a lot much to it, and the topology here isn't that bad, so it's not necessarily uh, ArcVis. You can use it for your games, you're not going to have much issues with the frame rate or anything, they're pretty well optimized so overall a little small map but you can use it in your games no issues all right next up we have the turn-based jrpg template so first i have this main menu map we'll go ahead and hit play um, i think you're supposed to use this with a controller up and down arrow keys on the mouse so a new game load and quit we'll go ahead and do a new game see here it opened up the demo level so we have a couple people following us here we got off level respawn after load not really sure what this is okay so we can looks like we can press X to battle I'm pressing X and I think you need a controller oh I'm gonna press C or something not entirely sure what the controls are but this is pretty much where you're getting your turn base combat Okay, so I just pressed A, we got a focus attack. Enter to confirm. Attack that never misses. Okay, so you can see there we just did our attack, victory, we got our experience, coins, obtain items. So it's really simple turn based attack system. Okay, so aggressive enemies. So I believe they're just gonna attack us right off the bat. So we got our items here. We can use blue potion. Stores 25 MP. Go ahead and do our thunderbolt skill. So it launched a different projectile. So it looks like it filters through all the different uh, characters that we have in our turn. Do our final attack there and defeat them. So. Got our broadsword, so I wonder if you can actually equip the items. So to be completely honest with you, I've never really played a bunch of turn-based games, but I'm assuming it's like any other, really. Uh, a chest that you can open, obtain the items, press enter. So I believe it's just E to interact. We have a little crafting station. Don't have enough items. Craft that item, it looks like a crafting bar percentage. And there we go. So really simple setup here. Okay, let's do the boss encounter. Okay, so we have a little start animation, that's pretty cool. Guy absolutely destroyed me. Okay, so it looks like my attacks do absolutely nothing. Do my basic heal. Completely useless. I'm gonna try and flee. Alright, looks like I failed.
So defeated, you can see, press enter, and it looks like it takes you back to the menu. Um, very well organized by the looks of it. You got your, all your enums here, your structures, battle, all your blueprints, all that stuff. So you have pretty much all the tools you need. Uh, it looks like I'm pretty sure it's just set up for single player. So, and uh, it'd be interesting to see someone replace it with some assets and use it for their game. So, yeah. All right. So last up, we have the advanced vehicle system. And to get this demo project, you actually need to go to the Marketplace page and go over here to the demo project and download the demo project because this is actually just a plugin. So you download and install the plugin to whatever version of the engine you're using. And you click the link to download the demo source code. Um, and it works with 4.24. Uh, 4.25, 4.26, but it does require a C++ compiler like Visual Studio to open up. So that's what I've done here. I got the project. I uh, right-clicked, open it up with the source build of 4.25 that I have. So here's the demo map. Um, see, it's pretty big. You have a lot of these uh, ramps and stuff to test things out. And I had to dig into the vehicles. For some reason, the guy didn't drag and drop all the vehicles in the level for whatever reason. Don't know what's up with that, but I guess I can go ahead and do that right now. All right, so this is what we got here. We got this little dune buggy here. Then we have the three-wheeler, which is kind of experimental from the looks of it. Uh, we have this little steamroller. And we have a semi truck with the rockets. And I'll, I'll drive all these here in a second. I'll just show off what we have. Looks like we have a little semi truck. Looks pretty basic, like the models and stuff. Doesn't look super fancy. At least the interiors and the exteriors are decent. Little mini RC car. Semi truck or little truck. And these are all the same cars, they're just different. This one's drift, this one's drag, and it's the default. Okay, Humvee, monster truck, whatever you want to call it. Then I got a Humvee. Honestly, the texture's not really that detailed at all. Could just be that this is mainly a demo map, and this is more or less just showing off the functionality of the plugin than giving away the assets, you know what I mean? Okay, Humvee with the top. Race car. Mini car with the rocket there. Looks like a busted car. Car with some stripes, and we got a little taco van. Food truck, it's pretty cool. Stolen goods. Chuck with some boxes, delivery truck, and Armored vehicle, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and hit play. Okay, so E to enter. So this vehicle has multiple wheels here. You can see the front two are turning and the left two are not. Q menu, hit enter vehicle. Headlights for H. So it looks like we got headlights. That's nice. I'm not sure if you can actually control the rockets in this one. Got the food truck here. So you can see those line traces. I believe it's just trying to see where exactly you're looking. That way you can enter the vehicle. This one doesn't have a light set up. That's kind of scuffed, but... Oh, you can see the packages in the back are simulating physics, which is cool. Got some d tires we can run into. Taco truck. Assuming it's uh, pretty much the same thing. Same deal. Spawn new vehicle. Okay, so Q, we have toggle engine reset vehicle. Detach all wheels. 
since this is multiplayer, actually, let's go ahead and test out multiplayer real quick. So I'll do two clients. All right, so we'll try this little mini car. Why not? So we can see each other driving around. That's cool. I believe he said it was all replicated, but it was, I'm not entirely sure. If I can recall, it was not set up. It was just set up on the client side. Anywho, uh, it looks like it works there. I've got a lot of errors here. Didn't do switch has authority, I think, for some of those. Now I'm trying to access. It's usually what it means. Okay, it looks like I'm not entirely sure what happened to the materials. They could be randomized when you hit play uh, because they're kind of different materials. Let's go ahead and try this. So it looks pretty fun, honestly. Um, and I would really like the suspension on this one. Got a little, a lot of different bumps and stuff you can drive over. Okay, let's go ahead and reflip this thing over. Honestly, not that bad. Now I'm wondering if there's a way you could go into first person. So, middle mouse button is just reset the camera position, not really going to first person, but honestly, it wouldn't be that hard to actually set that up. We got the race car. This is actually pretty fun. Honestly, I, I definitely would probably try and check this out. Um, there's a lot of examples here for different types of cars, and um, even if the multiplayer might not be entirely correct, uh, it's definitely something I could look into. Okay, so for rockets, uh, I think R is vehicle ignition. No. Oh, okay, I just hit shift. You can see we can go flying here. <laughs> All right. And then we got the muscle car. We have three different variants. So this is the default. Pretty normal behavior, nothing to it. The next one is either drag or drift. Not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and find out. Oh, dang. This one, this one can haul actually pretty fast. Wow. Yeah. This one kind of just pops wheelies. Jesus. So this one might be the drift. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and check it out. A little bit, yeah, yeah, kind of. I like the smoke. All right, looks like the stuff in the back is also set to simulate physics. That's pretty cool. Probably one of my favorites. Little RC truck, this will be cool. <laughs> now this is pretty awesome. Just a little mini truck. <laughs> now it'd be really interesting to test this out over the network to see either how poorly or how well the actual movement would be. And I believe there's some trailers, so I'm gonna go ahead and try hooking some of the trailers up to the back here. Okay, so that was pretty easy, L. You see here we got the trailer. Let's go ahead and take it over some bumps. Let's go ahead and take it over some wow. So L we can detach, I believe. Yeah, so you can see here, that's pretty cool. You can see the little stand came out and set it back down on the ground, so we have the rocket one. This thing looks pretty epic. Okay, oh wow, this thing just goes. A 
couple more left here. Little flat roller, whatever it's called. Steamroller. Pretty simple. Got the three wheeled vehicle. You can see it's really easy. Looks like to topple over. And then we got the little buggy. little simulated uh, antenna that dribbles around it's pretty cool so honestly quite a lot of different vehicle types and templates so I'm assuming with this plugin you can pretty much set up probably whatever vehicle you want and tweak the variables to get whatever design I really like how you can interact with the other vehicles by you know running them over and stuff it's not like glitching out or anything And actually this car over here looks like the uh, doors were simulating a little bit. Or at least that one swings open. That's pretty cool. So you get like a damaged car here that's on its last leg or whatever. Yeah, so overall there's a lot of different things here we can go ahead. Okay, so if we open up a vehicle blueprint here. So it looks like the way they have it set up, I guess the default Unreal vehicle system, we have a complete static mesh or skeletal mesh that's rigged and you have, you know, the vehicles are all attached. It looks like the vehicles here are separate components in the blueprint. So you would get your static mesh uh, exported with the wheels and the body separate and then you'd go into your blueprint and set things up. Now the neat thing about that is the fact that uh, you don't have to rig your vehicles I'm assuming you can just go ahead and export the meshes and pretty much drag and drop and set things up that way this is our vehicle demo base pawn right here looks like they have all their on rep notifies which is nice to see so all of their functions and everything and the replication honestly it looks pretty well set up but yeah, definitely something to check out more and kind of things you can build and use with this uh, because there's really a lot of different examples for vehicles and you can see the map here. There's quite a bit to play around and test with. So anyways, uh, this is the vehicle, advanced vehicle system. Again, the demo project you have to download from the Marketplace page. This is a playable demo, so it's packaged, but this is the actual source code demo. Actually, I'm wondering if we can test this demo and it has the dedicated server or uh, ability to host and test it over network. That would be good to see how it actually performs in that way. But yeah, so you download the demo project, unpack it, and open it up with uh, Visual Studio. Build the project, open it up with 4.24, 4.25 or 4.26 anyways i might make a separate video tutorial on this or you know a separate video going more in depth in this but overall pretty good pack honestly and limited time only so i'd go ahead and get the plug in before the month is out all right last but not least is the physical layout tool here uh it's a permanently free plugin that was was made permanently free uh today with the free monthly assets. So this will be on the marketplace for good, for free. You can get it physical layout tool, download it, install it to whatever engine you're using. What it does is I have the same map, little cabin map, which was free like a month or two ago. So how it works is you have to go into plugins, search physical layout, enable that, restart, then go to your modes, physical layout mode you have your different select tools transform tools and you can enable gravity for certain actors and what it's going to allow you to do is drag and drop items and just have them simulate so say if you're trying to randomize things so it's more or less a 
physically based way of of placing actors down into the scene without having to manually drag and drop every single uh, Apple actor. So you can also do a paint place, which allows you to pretty much spawn in apples. You hit enable gravity, we can paint um, a bunch of different assets in here, like so. So yeah, honestly, it's a pretty interesting plugin and it's really gonna help out if you're just trying to, you know, naturally create a scene where you don't have to manually place every single asset in the level and you can have more of a natural, physical simulated approach to decorating your level. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.